This story uh, very much found me, which in general is kind of the way that I work. Often it's that I'm just out in the world and then something kind of interrupts my life. And so in this story, it's very much that way. Uh, I went hiking in this small town in northern Washington just because I wanted to get away for a couple of days. And even in my hiking, I like don't do very much preparation. So I just randomly picked a town on the map because I liked the name and I thought it sounded quaint. Uh, and in reality, it was this kind of really ugly logging town. Um, not very beautiful, not like filled with little cute restaurants. But in the center of this town is this large restaurant uh, and hotel where this annual convention happened to be taking place. And so the first time I went there, I was kind of, you know, just out on my balcony and looking into the parking lot. And I was seeing all of these women kind of flocking in and out of of the hotel and uh, it's a pretty small town so I couldn't really understand why this place was so packed but also I was starting to notice that the women were like struggling to walk in high heels and had these very like masculine embraces and also had tons of clothing with them. I was fortunate enough that the convention is a very social gathering and so there's a bar so I would go and sit at the bar and, and you know have a drink. So the first couple of days were very much spent like that, you know, just kind of getting a sense and, and slowly chatting with people. And, and because it was a very isolated community and because I was expressing some interest, there was, they were very receptive to that. I mean, they want to be not recognized by their neighbors, their spouses, people that they work with. That's kind of why they go way up north and in this small town, but not because they want to be alone. I didn't do any filming that first year. I basically met a bunch of people, talked to people, really listened. And the following year, because it only happens once a year for a week, the following year I approached them about access, you know, very, very carefully. Because this is a very, I mean, they had been approached before and it's a very closed kind of thing. Um, and they granted me access then. If you're out full time, you don't really need to come to this event. You know, I've always thought that the like celebration and the 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 sense of community and fun and adventure that happened there is is while it's wonderful, it's really underscored by the sense of sadness because it's it's one week that they get to do this, and it means that the other 51 weeks of the year they don't get to do this at all. There's a lightness and a, a badassness about some of the women that I really wanted to embrace. I mean, I think it's, I think that they do this really brave thing and they're kooky and wild. I knew I was different as long as I could remember. And I thought I was the only one that was different. Right, so you come like this and then it starts and you just come down and then the trumpets kick in and, and the tropical or the Yeah. This? yeah. You're, we're all going to do that together. My dress goes up too high when I do that. Oh, but you got it. shorts on. Yeah. <laughs> so there are aspects of that that are really fun. Underneath that is also like some really, really dark realities, which is it's an attempted suicide rate of, or a reported attempted suicide rate of 41%, which truthfully must be even higher because there are so many people that you could never even get to get that statistic. So that means that, you know, about half of the people of this community tr have at one point in their lives or another said, this world is not cut out for me. And that's really horrible. And I don't think that there are any communities that have suicide rates that high. Um, unemployment, alcoholism, substance abuse, just depression, like there's real sadness at this thing. And I've always really felt both things. I've always felt the dancing and the energy, and I've always felt the like Erica type scenes, which is she's the woman at the end in the hotel room that is just so honest and raw about her pain. This is not fun. She is not having a good time. She's doing the best she can. And so I've always really felt like this kind of tug of war between those emotions, and I really wanted to kind of pull both of those out as much as possible.